This is the second video in our three part review of the new Tata Nexon. So let's get straight to the interior of this new Nexon, which as you can see, bears no resemblance to the old model. But more than the design itself, the number of features that the Nexon now gets is something that's worth talking about straight away. I've actually made a list of all the new features that this car gets and it's a long list. So are you ready? Okay, let's do this. So you get ventilated front seats, a JBL sound system, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, a 360 degree surround view system, touch sensitive controls for the climate control, height adjustment for the driver as well as the co-driver seat, tire pressure monitoring system, paddle shifters for the DCA version, wireless charging pad and a fully digital instrument cluster. So you're getting plenty of features for the money. Now the only couple of features that I feel uh, you're missing in this car is ambient lighting and an automatic start stop feature for the engine. Now let's talk about things that I like and dislike about this new cabin and I will begin with things that could have been better. Take uh, this sunroof for instance. Now it's a single pane unit that looks really nice on the outside but uh, it's actually got a very narrow opening so it doesn't exactly let in a lot of light when you open the shade. Like the old Nexon, the placement for the USB ports isn't user friendly at all and it will be a task to plug in any device. We would recommend you do it only when the car is stationary. Also, I absolutely love the fact that the digital instrument cluster for the driver can also display Google Maps in all its glory. However, on this pre-production car, it stopped working within a few minutes of our drive. Finally, some of the bits are from the old car, so things like the ORPM controls, the window switch panel, the drive mode selector and the handbrake. Honestly, they all look their age next to everything else that's new in this cabin. Let's talk about the positives now. First of all, uh, I like this new uh, two-spoke steering wheel design, uh, which reminds me of uh, the old Sierra or the Estate. Of course, uh, in this car, it's all modern and it's got this uh, Tata logo, which glows up when you start the car. The controls on the steering wheel may feel like uh, they are touch sensitive, but these are actually physical buttons, uh, which I prefer. I feel uh, they are simply easier to use while driving. I also like this funky uh, purple and black interior color option that you get if you go for uh, the purple exterior. I know it's uh, not something that will go well uh, with every buyer, but I'm glad that this color combination exists in a mass market car like the Nexon. Speaking of other things that are nice, the wireless charging pad is conveniently placed, the visuals from the surround view cameras are of high quality and so is the audio from the JBL sound system. I like that there are so many sound modes and that you can configure the output exactly as per your liking. Now let's move to the rear seat and check out the space and comfort. Overall space here at the back is pretty much the same as before, which means you get lots of space for your knees and your head. This rear seat itself is very comfortable and because it's got uh, this slight hump at the edge of the seat base, you get a good amount of under thigh support as well. So overall, it's a solid 8 on 10 when it comes to the rear seat comfort at this price point. That wraps up our interior and features review of the all new Tata Nexon. We have also talked about its design in great detail. So if you want to find that video, then you can click over here. And if you want to know more about how this new Nexon performs with a turbo petrol engine and a DCA gearbox, then you can click below for our video review on its performance.